if you are using textures from a texture software, you can blur the details a bit so that it doesn't need to have more camera samples to sample. What happens when you blur the texture is that the details which was there on a single pixel will blur and spread to two or three more pixels so that the possibility of more camera samples catching that pixel is more. So since Maya doesn't have any blur node here, what I have done for it was in the Arnold shader, you can add mid map bias value or increase the mid map bias value. What it does is since it is a TX map, it will create different resolution versions of the texture in the same file itself. So according to the distance of the texture or textured object from the camera, it will define what resolution of the texture is needed for that particular camera angle. So that is controlled or calculated by Arnold on the render time, but we can manually add a value here so that we get some details blurred. So I'll show you what I have done here. So if I isolate this texture here, you can see it looks a bit blurry. Let me save this version and let me put it zero, which is the default number. So comparing these two, you can see how much blurry the texture goes.